one of the new sets of tools that are coming out for architectural visualization now that are just crazy how they're evolving and they're not there yet for sure but are doing some really exciting things are ai rendering systems technically they're machine learning let's be really clear about that it's not really artificial intelligence um, these are tools that use machine learning they're mining essentially images to build new images um, but they're so interesting so uh, innovative in the way that it lets us think about architecture that it we have to start looking at them and how we would employ them to help us in this particular case generate design ideas so this is a project micro house really early in its development but in looking at this little box form i want to start seeing okay what could a little form like that be and the tool that I'm going to be using is called Prome AI. One of the things that I like about Prome AI is that it can use a base image and build on top of it. So unlike Midjourney, where it just invents something seemingly out of thin air with prompts, this um, Prome AI will use as a guide. And also to get into Prome AI, you can start experimenting with it um, for free. So that's super, super nifty. So let's look at a site plan and generate a view. So my site plan, that's my little micro house that I'm proposing. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but would like to get some ideas. I am going to place a camera with a left click and then another left click, which is both my direction and distance to the far clipping plane. And I can get sort of a base image. Let's stretch that out a little bit more, make it more of landscape in its format. I'm a little more interested in what happens to this side, to the right, then the left, this hill going up. And I, just from working with Prome AI, uh, if I remember, I will show you some results. It's, again, it's not really an intelligent artificial intelligence, it's machine learning. So the first couple of things that I uploaded, it looked at these, which we would all know in the design industry as topo lines, it interpreted those as parts of a building and changed them into glass. And I really couldn't get around that. So I do know that beginning to convert something like this to more of a solid image um, is going to work better. So let's dust off the Revit rendering tools. Um, let's go to view and render something I almost never use anymore. Sorry, but it's truth. Um, we'll render this on medium setting so that it's quick. Um, 150 DPI, so I'm roughly at 8 by 5 image, which is super low res, but perfectly fine for generating some ideas. And I'm going to click render. So this should only take a few seconds to generate a good image for me. I'm going to export this as my ARC 222 AI site image idea. That's wordy, but descriptive. So Chrome AI, um, really interesting piece of online software. I don't know a lot about it. I've only been using it just for a bit, but I know that I'm intrigued. The multiple paths that we can go to build things. Um, if I am thinking as a design tool, this right here is a really interesting place to start, and that is sketch rendering. So I'm going to activate the sketch rendering I can upload my image, so I'm going to click the plus sign, RX-222 AI site image idea, and open. And essentially it's going to add that image to my queue. From here, I can say I want to generate architecture, and let's just say, again, this is a micro house, so let's see if there's something that relates to that. Um, let's do a villa residence. And perhaps we want to do Let's continue to look at futurism. That seems like fun. Oh, too much. Maybe. Yeah, too much. Um, well, we can scroll through. Oh, futuristic 10. That seems like an interesting kind of thing to build on top of this cube. That as an option. Render mode. Do I want it to follow with a high level of precision what it sees in that base image? Or do I want to give Prome AI creative liberty and right now i'm not really i'm just trying to generate ideas for what the design could be so i'm going to say yeah just forget precision um look at what's there and generate something exciting for me so i'm going to accept concept and then here 
I can start being a little bit more descriptive. So I know my site is in California, it's in the Redwood Forest. So I'm going to do um, small house with modern wood siding in the Redwood Forest with very tall trees, wild grass ground plane, um, sunlight behind trees, and I could go on and on with descriptions. I don't know how many of those Chrome's going to pick up on. I haven't used it enough to know how precise it's going to be. But um, yeah, I can essentially begin putting in some basic descriptions of what I want to have happen. Um, from there, uh, I can add in other style reference images. I um, haven't tried that yet. And it's worth noting, I can put you know things to avoid. Um, like one of the things I'm anticipating to happen because it has happened, it's continually trying to turn this uh, part of my image into a building as well, where I really wanted to focus in on this. Um, perhaps cropping the image a different way could fix that. I'm not sure. Oh, and let's put, it's also by a river as part of my prompts. So essentially then this is going to generate um, an image. It's going to cost me 0.1 coins. Um, right now, a prome gives us 10 coins per month. Um, so I, this is this should take me down to 8.7. But let's go ahead and have it generate three. So this is going to use 0.3 coins. We'll hit generate. And really quickly, it's going to give me three variations on the inputs that I provided. Cool, so here's the first one. And you can see it's taking this kind of thing and making this, it's taking that box, and it's taking a lot of liberties with adding on. But that's a really interesting design idea. Uh, again, it's interpreting this side of the image as additional building, but it doesn't take me a lot of effort to just imagine that not being there, right? So let's go to the next created image. Wow, it really took the, the river much more literally. Really nice. Again, it's still generating a portion of the building here, but uh, again, a sort of an interesting entry system and this sort of wood siding wrapping around. Really, really cool. And last one, um, yeah, that's like a huge wood retaining wall now. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But again, the river coming around is a really nifty kind of thing that was added in. The tall trees in the background, it's kind of nailed those. So some really cool and interesting ways to generate, really quickly generate different ideas. Just to toggle through the other variations that I've sent to Prom AI on the exact same thing. And you can see some of the variations. And all of these rendered um, literally in seconds. Um, and some of them wildly different uh, and some of them wildly wrong. Like this is where it's taking those topo lines and said, oh, yeah, those are windows. I know what you're doing here. And, you know, it's wrong. Um, it's because it's machine learning. It's not really AI. So that's the bulk of what this uh, short lesson was about uh, and showing what this tool is and where it's headed is going to be really, really interesting.